YouTube fam, what is going on? It is your boy Dylan Flex. No, it is not a mistake, it is not an error. Yes, notification gang. I just posted a video right now. Guys, I apologize, I haven't been posting. If you guys do know a little bit about what's going on, if you follow my Capital Vegas, that's my business sneaker page, you guys know my business is just online right now. Today we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna show you guys the day in the life of a sneaker reseller. So it's gonna be something a little different. I'm gonna run you guys through what goes on. Also, my website is Shop Dylan Flex. Guys, we have taken resale to a whole new level. It has been crazy, and you guys know what I mean. These prices, this stuff I've been doing is nuts. If you guys follow me, and if you guys have not been following me, you guys are missing out. We're gonna run you through what happens during the day. I have a couple things planned, like I said, nothing crazy. Gotta go pick up my boy Matt, it's his birthday. Let's get it. So we just got to the mall right now and I'm pulling up on my homie Matt. It's his birthday today. So we about to go see what he's up to. Let's see. Wow, the little homie. All of a sudden, dang, fam. Dang, what's going oh, on? Happy birthday, boy. What's Thank good with you? you? You know, same old, same old. Came to kick with my boy Dylan. Yes, sir. You looking fly as always. Not like you though. Oh, stop it. Stop playing. All right, guys, so we're gonna go do a meetup right now with one of my boys. Matt has the camera. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I do. I told a couple people that I was gonna meet up with them. So I'm gonna meet up with them really close to the house. It's mostly friends of mine. I really don't meet up with random people. It's not worth it to me. I'm gonna show you guys what I buy it for, what I sell it for. I think people have a misunderstanding and I think they try to get rich off one shoe. And for me personally, it's volume. I move shoes every single day, just like today. I always am shipping stuff out and I'm always moving and I'm keeping it pushing. I don't really hold on to stuff. I know people are like, oh my, you don't hold on to stuff. I think about it like this. I'd rather flip that shoe, reinvest it into something else and keep it moving. So my profit margins are good, but I'm not gonna hold the shoe to make an extra 100, 200 dollars. It's really not worth it to me. I can flip that one shoe and turn it into something else. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're buying. Yesterday, I wish Matt was on the film. We bought a bunch of shoes. He bought like 30 shoes. And if you guys saw Capital Vegas, my steals and my stuff is crazy right now. I'm gonna pull up to my boy. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm buying. I'm gonna show you what I'm selling it for. Stay tuned. It's all in the day's work, guys. It's all in the day's work. So I'm gonna buy an off-white UNC Pre-owned, I know you guys don't like pre-owned. Pre-owned is my bread and butter and I'll explain why to you guys in a second. I'm gonna show you the condition of it. I'm gonna tell you guys how much I'm going to sell it for. Let's hop out the car, let's get it. You guys know my friend, you've seen him on camera, so I didn't mean to put you up on the camera real quick. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, let me check these out. I bought his Prestos the other day. I bought some Bape off of him. This guy's the plug, he's always selling me good stuff. He's got a big foot though, so for you big footers out there. Not bad for a year. No, not at all. It's actually pretty good. So, right. just bought a UNC for $700. It's pre-owned. I'm going to sell it for anywhere from $800 to $850, depending on... I'm not really going to clean it up, but I'm going to check prices. It's fast flips like that that keep things moving, guys. Yes, could I probably sell it for $900? Yeah, I saw I'm going for like 1000 to 1100 yes. But I know that will sell immediately and it's a guaranteed sale and I can keep it moving. We're gonna go now. I bought some pairs off of Chow. You guys know Chow. The cool thing about Vegas is when you know people in this business especially, I get phone calls all the time. Hey Dylan, do you have this size? Do you have this? If I don't have the size, I'll hit my guy Chow up and ask Chow if he has it. This time Chow hit me up, had some pre-owned shoes that a guy bought into his shop and he said he did not want them. So I sent him some money and I bought them. I'm gonna show you guys what they are. Once again, super steals. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought them for. I'm gonna tell you guys what I sell them for. The cool thing about Vegas, like I just was saying, is everybody kind of links up that does this and they all are kind of cool with each other. There's a couple people in town that aren't cool with each other. A little money hungry, a little different. Uh, you guys know who that is. It's definitely not us. So shout out to Selection. We're gonna go over there right now. We're gonna go see what Chow's been up to. Let's get it, guys. Selection. Selection. Oh, look, I'm the boss today. I've always wanted to be the boss. Hey, are you hiring? Oh, I'm my boss. 
Oh, it's Henry. Henry's your boss? Yeah, this is my new boss. Look at him. Hello, sir. I just sir. took the drug test. I actually did have to take an application. Oh, did you? Yeah. I sent him my application, but no one, no one, uh, no one responded back to me. Should I contact Jay Smart? Yeah, or him. So just pulled up to Chow's. Thank you for holding these for me. Talking about prices, I paid fifty dollars each for the Kobe's. Paid a hundred dollars for the Toros. For the 13s, I paid 50 or 60 bucks. I don't have to add that up. I'm gonna show you guys the profit and what I'm gonna sell them for, so stay tuned. Wow. Hey. Wow. Ni hao. Ni hao. That's racist. No, it's not. Hi. Dude, she's so busy now that she doesn't even pay attention when she walks through the parking lot. Hey, hey EB Lane. Kicks, what's up? Hi. How are you? Good, and you? Talk to us, what's up? Everything good? Everything's beautiful. Food action sold out three times. That's amazing. You're rich, yeah? <laughs> You're stupid. I'm not rich, but the point of the story is that never give up. Because a lot of people told us a few years ago, why they have to mess up our... Yeah. The, biggest, the biggest truck ever wants to come in here, huh? Oh my gosh, Dylan. You should have told me my hair is messed no, up. No, you look popping, Evie. Come on. Anyways, the point of the story is... Oh my god, here's go the thing. She's stuck a man already. The point of the story is... Never keep up. Ni hao is not racist. It's hello in Chinese. So, hey, ni hao. How much do I owe you guys? <laughs> how much do I owe you guys? <laughs> oh, you don't know anything now. Anyways, the point of the story is... For real? Never give up. Hey, Ever. shout out to EV Kicks when you buy shoe cleaner, come with sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, give me the keys. Mr. Dylan Flex, we got his... Give me the keys really quick. Brand new DS. Bread toast hey, hold with the laces. Up. How much am I, I buying them for? They only do two with the com with the combo. I didn't eat the other one. <laughs> they only let you get two. Yeah. Okay, How so much am I right buying those for? Me? Say it. Oh, you can't say it? Blast me in front of EB, huh? Blast me in front of her. Single? I just God didn't damn. know if I could say it. Single? God damn. Say oh no, I'm taking. He's happily married, man. I'm Come on. I'm happily married. Me too. Half married? No, happily. Oh man. Half married? You go show you want to come out tonight? <laughs> I am. We've been doing that print all day. Yeah. I keep seeing these everywhere. Fire or no? These are the tattoos, right? Tattoo fours? Yeah, I, I, I definitely would rock these. I like how it has the black Ooh. In the background. Shout out to myself. For Classics. Thank you. Shout out to my guy Dylan Flex. Let's get it, Keeping baby. me fresh on my feet. Those are so clean. Ooh. Those are nice. Damn near DS. I mean, can't really beat that. Man, you Thanks to the you. Gym? No, I'm trying to get like you. Bro, your arms are, what's going on, man? You getting Man, buff. I'm not big, bro. Man, you better stop playing. How did it before? Not. Hey guys, I want to shout out to my new sponsor. I love selection. Shout out to Chow. He actually just hired me. Where's my shirt? Oh. You hear this? You guys hear this? You guys see friends, bro. You see this? He says one that he tries to get money out of me every single time we do deal. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Thank you, sir. Let's do a business. I'll show you where. Right now, we're pulling up to my buddy's house. I'm going to buy a couple Yeezys off him and a pair of off-whites. I'm going to show you guys what we paid. Actually, people just keep hitting me up. I actually really had none of this plan today. People are like, yo, you buying, you buying. Guys, I'm always buying. So even if you're out of state or in town, just know I'm always buying. I'm gonna show you guys the prices and the condition of these shoes. Let's do it. This is one of my favorite people to buy off of. He's actually one of the hardest people to buy off and also one of the richest people to buy off. Nah. I bought a couple of these. Oh, shit. That'd be crazy. What is, what is it? Let's check out. Look at the condition of these. What do you say? Like try it on? I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> Got some of these. You been wear these? <laughs> Just running out in my classes. <laughs> Rich life. Oh, the bracelet? Yeah, he said no. No, he, he so wants, he he wants no. the bracelet, but he said he could buy a brand new one. How much? You said you offered him five thousand, right? Yeah. I told him there's seven thousand. He goes, I'll just buy a new one then. And he can't. He didn't even negotiate with me. It's like, hey, can you lower it for four forty-five or four four grand? He didn't say he that. Should, no, he just said no. Okay. You sold the Rolex though. Yeah. He wanted the Rolex. He was like, yo, I was trying to buy the Rolex. I said, yo, the Rolex is sold. Yeah. Yeah. He said he wanted that. I told him before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
twelve fifty. Alright. He wanted food. He said, Can you give me in and out? Can you buy me a burger from In and Out? Like, bro! <laughs> Donsky, you know I appreciate you. Alright man. As I'll always. let you know if I hit some shoes since they have. Please do, you know All I'm right. buying. I just did another couple meetups. Your boy's hot, but I want to show you guys one of my really good friends. I want to shout out to him real quick. He always takes care of me. Oh! How's it going, fam? This guy didn't even know he was on. Hey, shout out, shout out the IG real quick. Hold up, uh, it's really bad lighting up in here. Uh, no limit cakes with two S's at the end, so no limit cakes with two S's. Tell him, so. tell him what you, uh, what you giving me. Show him, show him what we got. So we got the Travis Scott mocha lows. Oh man, I like I was saying, this guy always takes care of me. He always has yes, early sir. pairs. It's always good business. Family, bro. You know what I'm doing today? I was doing a day in the life, so I was vlogging a little bit. I yeah. was doing meetups with people. Yeah. I wanted to just to show people uh, about the resale and I gotta I show it. I gotta show love to my man right it, here. You already know Thank guys you. follow him. Thank Crazy so steals much. in Vegas, no Thank cap. You. So a lot of people in town don't wanna consign and they just wanna get cashed out. Honestly, I don't blame them. Who wants to wait for their money? So a lot of people hit me, especially in Vegas. Like, Dylan, how do you get all these pairs? Man, a lot of people don't want to consign. A lot of people don't like consignment shops. I had a consignment shop, and I'm telling you, people don't like to wait for their money. I'm always buying pairs. No waiting, cash up front, and I'm as fair as possible. Not to mention, guys, my prices, not just in town, but that too are the best you cannot beat my prices and especially when it comes to buying prices too you can't beat it i'm one of those people that just want to keep it moving i know you have to eat a little bit and i want to too i'm not going to knock you guys down so you can only make 20 bucks off your pair if it's fair it's fair and it's like i was saying guys don't be that person to try to make an extra 20 or 30 bucks off someone and burn the bridge it's truly not worth it i promise you i'm going to show and share with you guys more of these day in the life they profit wise just on the website was over 500 bucks. That's just in the shoes that I bought today. It does not include any other sales. All work is easy work, guys. I'm super grateful and I love what I do more than anything. If you guys have questions, have any comments or concerns, please let me know. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned. So the cool thing about being a reseller is you're kind of always on the clock or whenever you want to work. So I just had my boy pull up. Unfortunately, I couldn't put him on camera for various reasons of where he works. But I will say shout out to my guy. Off the Gucci main shirt, in an XL, some wave runners, some breads. Paid really good prices for this. I paid 220 for that, 200, 200 for a dead stock pair of this. Guys, you can always find steals out there. It is pretty crazy. This is not a planned day. This is just the stuff that I wanted to show you. It's a day in the life. I get hit up and I wanted to show you guys this stuff really happens. So with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, let's get it. Man, I just wanna go flex, on my teeth and on my